the view here in front of you is that of a uterus that measures 7.7 into 4.4, 7.7 .7 by 4.4, and uh, with the, the, this is the anterior lip of the cervix, this is the posterior lip of the cervix, and we are seeing the uterus in longitudinal section, this is the anterior myometrium, this is the fundal region, and here is the endometrial canal, this thin linear structure that you are seeing is the, uh, is, uh, is the part of the endometrial canal in fact. And you can see that from the endometrial canal there is an approximately measuring 2.9 into 4 into 3, 4 into 3 into by 2.9 centimeter ecogenic area with no shadowing well demarcated and in this uh, equogenic area <coughs> we can see there are multiple tiny equogenic areas One, these are cystic areas tiny multiple tiny cystic areas this one you see these this this one now this female had DNC. Can I tell you that? DNC is a Okay, okay. She had DNC four months back uh, and uh, got aborted a two and a half year, uh, two and a half month fetus. Now it was an induced abortion. Her, she has been referred to rule out any pelvic pathology because spotting and uh, manorrhagia is continuing for the last four months despite medication and uh, what we are seeing is a, a solid area with multiple tiny cystic areas within yeah, and I, I do not have the report of uh, the beta HCG provided to me. However, this finding is very much consistent uh, with uh, a molar, complete molar pregnancy. Until unless proven otherwise, this is a complete molar pregnancy. Now this is a still image. Let us study on the real time. Here we are. This is the longitudinal section. Here you are seeing, this is the urinary bladder, this is the anterior lip of cervix, posterior lip of cervix, and you see the endometrial canal and posterior, and, uh, uh, and adjacent to it rather, with it, with the posterior wall, you see again uh, a well demarcated ecogenic area with numerous tiny cystic areas within it. And the anterior myometrium is spared. So until unless proven otherwise, this is a case of complete molar pregnancy. And what if the pregnancy test is negative or the beta ACG is normal, then what it is? then adenomyos, the adenomyosis will be the second option. Again you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, multiple cystic areas within this uh, ecogenic area. And uh, it's in the center, the endometrium, within the endometrial canal. It's not separate, can't separate it from the endometrial canal. This is the transverse section of the same and here you can see again cystic area occupying the central region of the This is the right ovary and here we see a developing follicle 
measuring 10.2 millimeters. So if this is the left ovary, and we can see a developing uh, polypus measuring 10.2 millimeters. And let's see. If, yes, this is the right ovary. This one, and you can see multiple developing follicles within it. These are the follicles in different phases of development. This is the right ovary. Now this is the transfer section of the uterus. You can see here uh, an echogenic area full of uh, internal cystic areas. This is, here it is. Now this is the area and you can study the cystic area with it. All this. Now this can be a uterine, a third option will be a uterine fibroid with areas of internal degeneration and necrosis. Very rare to see uh, giving this picture. I am just giving you the differential that may be absolutely wrong. Then this is uh, the third op uh, option will be a clot. However, keeping in view the uh, sonographic findings that I have without any uh, beta ICG levels, this picture of uh, the endometrium uh, of a mass within the endometrium with so many cystic areas and giving grape-like appearance, bunch of grapes is uh, very much consistent with a complete molar pregnancy. So, this is the uterus and this F denotes the fundal region of the uterus. This is the cervix. And mind, this is the magnified view and this mass with numerous internal uh, cystic areas of varying sizes, measuring 4.3 to 3.1 centimeter, is suggestive of a complete mother pregnancy. Thank you very much.